message for singles because it's the week of January 18th. And remember that energy is fluid, so this could be past, present, or future. Also, um, it could be from the perspective of the cost watcher, and it is general, so it will not resonate for, for every Aries. So just keep that in mind. Also, be sure to only take what um, resonates with you. Do not make the story fit. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and jump in it. I've already meditated and bless your cards. So what's the past energy? Do you see the Aries here? Past energy. Okay, great. So we have trust here. And it says this situation is calling for you to have faith. And it says love yourself first. So your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So I'm really feeling that in the past you, um, well, at least for majority of you, I'm getting, that's, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's, pure, it's hilarious. So, um, so I'm really getting a sense because, okay, I just have to say this real quick. This is my sign. So it's like, I'm, when I, like, when I look at this sort of stuff, I'm like, get the freak out of here. But the spirit is like, no, nah, say what we'll say what say what we said, say what we said. Okay, um so it's like um, in past situations or past situations have affected um your trust or you are not trusting the process is kind of what I'm getting also here. And then with the love yourself it's just you know I think that at this time you needed to focus on yourself or you had a situation where you understood that it was now time to focus on yourself after um, trust was broken or you didn't have trust in a situation. So for the present energy, we have this could be the one. It says you're already you've already met the romantic partner you seek and then it says give your relationship a chance work on your partnership that's in the present energy so for some of you i think that you've um currently like recently met somebody that um that you're unsure about because of pre previous trust issues that you've already dealt with um, and you're being, you know, guided to, you know, give those opportunities, like give that opportunity or the opportunity for that relationship a chance. You know, I like how that one came out. And, um, yeah, for others, I think that, um, a person that you are currently dealing with, um, or have dealt with in the past. You need to give them a chance. <laughs> That's what I'm getting for that from that. And in the future energy, I see children. It says your love life is being affected by children. It says engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment and free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So for some of you, I feel like you're dealing with issues with a um, child's parent. And um, it's keeping you from moving toward a better union. But for majority of you guys, I think that, um, well not majority, but others, I think that, you know, you want children or you don't want children and that's keeping you from like that's one of the factors moving forward and I think that you're gonna it's gonna be resolved in a way in which you're happy about um, we also have forgiving and learning um, as the underlying message as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moment so yeah, you have to release the trust issues that you've had in the past. 
And then, you know, in your present moment, it's saying that it is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of, of all. So, yeah, you're in a place where you're not receiving that energy because, you know, of whatever ha has happened in the past that you haven't quite gotten over. But I do think that, you know, you won't be really good at that much longer. Like... You're, oh, you'll be moving towards something either the same or um, something like if it's a previous relationship or to be something that's better suited for you yeah so yeah the ten of swords the um, eight of wands and the five of swords in reverse so you could be dealing with a Gemini a Sagittarius or an Aquarius but um, or you could have dealt with those signs you know I definitely feel like you walked away from um, a certain situation um, as a way for you to grow because you felt like it wasn't going anywhere or you felt like the person was selfish or self-centered and you were burdened by this so you let let that shit go like you were like nah i'm good yeah you had look you had clarity you had clarity in in the situation you realized that you had way too much love to give this person you know and this eight of um swords in the reverse some of you are definitely dealing with gemini could be because you it's like you you release yourself from the bondages of your mind, thinking that you know you could be. Um, it, it, I don't want to say that you can do better because like for some like for most of you, I'm not feeling that. What I'm feeling is that you felt like like um, for like if this was like your child's parent or something that was in the past, you felt like you felt like you had to. Um, give it all you got <laughs> like that's what i'm hearing like give it all you got give it all you got like i feel like a lot of you felt like you had to give it all you got like yeah but i feel like moving forward in your present moment is kind of like you're you see you showing up in your own um reading for the emperor and then we have the sun some leo is coming in for you sun will be having a leo come in yeah, and in your present moment, you could be dealing with another Aries or a Gemini. Like, Gemini's coming up real strong in this region. So, it's like, um, you need to give either, like, for mostly I'm getting, like, you need to give, you need to keep the faith in the Gemini or the Aries that isn't living up to their full potential now. Or isn't being their true self. You need to have faith in that situation. Or you need to um, continue keeping your faith. Meaning like your spirituality. Keep doing things that are best for you so that you're able to manifest. Yeah. The love that you that you want. also have the judgment card here the five of wands and the queen of pentacles on the free yourself card so i'm really getting a sense that the children thing that's something that is supposed to be that way it's it's supposed to be that way like at least for some of you like i feel like you're going to make a decision that, or a decision is going to be made, it may be by you or the other person, that the children's situation is not that much of a factor for you guys to be able to come together and, you know, have stability. But I also feel like that's, in order for you to come into this Queen of Pentacles energy here, you're going to definitely have to... Um, 
free yourself from past um, energies. Like, right? see, some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Gemini. We also have various energy here. But it's heavy on the on the Gemini and Aquarius. So definitely some of y'all are definitely dealing with the water sign. I mean sorry, air sign. Anyway, so it's like you're going to make a decision to, you know, continue to move forward with healing yourself. And you're gonna wait on that opportunity to present itself. You're going to basically um, leave it up to not chance, but leave it up to your spirit guides and your ancestors to bring forth the right opportunity for you. And it's like, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to even, I'm not going to even, you know, try to move forward. I'm just going to wait. It'll come. It'll come. You know, and you're, you like, I'm going to just. Shoot, I'm gonna worry about myself and I'm gonna heal whatever situations that I need to heal so that I can be here on this plane of pentacles. Feel like because you don't want to, it's like you know what's going on. You show up, you're showing your energy is showing up in every place because you are like it's like you're all over this. You you understand what what needs to happen for you know you to move forward in which the, you know in the way in which you see fit. All right, what's the let's see. What's the what's the All right, yeah. <laughs> Some of you are definitely dealing with a Leo. Or Sagittarius. Or a uh, Gemini energy. Or that air energy keeps coming in. But that card is definitely for the um, Libras. So I had to get some tea on this topic. Okay, so. Um. I really feel like it's like you were hurt by whatever situation that happened in the past. You're really hurt. But as you released it, you you understood that in doing that you you began to grow. You began to actually um, pick up some momentum. It's almost like whatever this situation was in the past, it was draining on some like energy vampiric shit. Like it was not okay. That's the alien. And it's like now since you're aware of that shit, you're like, no, I know better. I know better. I know better. Yeah, so like you're definitely your energy. And um that's some more water sign energy that's the moon there for Pisces. That part is so good. That's so cute. Look at that. Anyway, um It's like you are this situation was keeping you from moving forward and um for most of you it was keeping you from moving forward emotionally like um kind of like um being able to like gravitate to certain things and spiritually it was keeping you from doing it and i'm also getting the sense that the situation was definitely like back and forth back and forth like it was off and on and for some of you guys, it also was, um, it was like the person would switch up on you and it would be like night and day. Like they wouldn't be the same. Okay. They wouldn't be the same person, but see, you decided that, um, 
no. You decided, like, okay, well, fuck this thing, basically. Like, I'm no longer exerting my energy into this situation. I'm stepping away. And it may have been a fight, or it may have been, like, I'm seeing for a lot of you guys, it was a realization. It's like something, it's like you thought it was something, and then it's, no, it's not, it's not that shit. This is not that. And, what's that? Oh, shit, I'm not going to look at it. So on the Emperor card, we have the um, King of Wands and the Two of Swords in the reverse and the the freaking um, the Lovers card in the reverse. So basically in the present moment, it's almost like you're deciding not to make a choice. Or not not to make a choice. It's like um it's like you're attracting that you know it's almost like you're putting off a a, a feel that like you don't even want this situation. But that's not true because it's like, yeah, it's like you're with this King of Wands energy. It's like you're you're definitely doing everything to like put this behind you. But you know that it is a divine partnership, and I say that, and that doesn't mean that you have to be your divine partner. You know, you have it may be a divine relationship, but not a divine like your life partner. So. Um, don't think about that too heavily, but it's like you you are making the decision to move forward for most of you, and for some of you, it's like you're just doing that for the actual um, like view of it, like the like how it how it looks. Yeah. Oh, I did not mean to do all of that. All right, but I'll take these cards. Yeah. Let's see. We have the two of wands in the upright. The, um, goodness, the star card. And then we have the um, six of wands in the reverse and the four of wands. It's like a situation didn't bring you balance in the past but in the future you know that that's going like you've made the decision that you're just moving forward because you're going to get the stability regardless like granted i definitely get a sense for most of you that you definitely want to be with that um old person but a lot of you guys are like okay but even if i'm not with that person it's going to be fine and some of you guys are manifesting a reunion or the person that you're dealing with is manifesting a reunion. And it's like they're trying to, you know, um, think about you in that same way in the sense that they're not, you know, they're not wanting to, you know, seem like they want, you know, a reconciliation or to fix this you know, situation, but they do. They definitely do want to fix it. But it's like they're trying to act like, oh, I'm not thinking about it. Like, um, like this person is not emotionally mature. Whoever this is, they are not, um, they are not emotionally mature. If this is your energy, um, that's why you keep, you know, dealing with certain things because it's like you don't, you haven't healed from what happened in your past. 
and that's why you're giving off that emotional insecurity. I mean, well, yeah, emotional insecurity or emotion, you know, emotional immaturity. Like, why? Like, and for those that are dealing with something like that, it's that's why it's not working out. And until you know, until they are willing to you know, fix that about themselves they are not going to be able to you know really give you what you're looking for and then on the judging and children we have the um the three of pentacles the will of fortune and the devil in reverse so it's like i'm getting a sense for some of you guys the person that um that may be your child's parent or uh, it may just be children involved in that situation and you want to have them and they don't and you've come to like a decision with that um, it's almost like whatever decision you come to like they still want to change the current energy that's happening by giving you whatever you want <laughs> they want to give you whatever you want but it's kind of fueled by the sense that, you know, um, they trying to fuck. Like, they, they, they are like, what's, what's going on? Like, no, like, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of this shit. Like, that's what I mean. I'm tired of this shit. I don't want to deal with, um, deal with you doing this shit. I'm like, no. <laughs> like, what's up? I want us to get it together yeah and see for others i definitely think that the person is you know going to be resentful if it's a decision that they didn't really want um, like they're just going to keep keep going like because they want you they're like okay well i'll give you what you want but not in a way in which they don't feel slighted all right, so we have the Will of Fortune. I'm sorry, oh, the World in the Reverse, the Ten of Wands in the Reverse, and the Page of Cups in the Reverse. Again, I, yeah, we keep seeing pages like this is some real immature energy, and like engagement doesn't necessarily mean like a ring. It's just really like you know a higher level of commitment. And again, they're wanting to come back to you. But they're not there yet. They're not there yet. They're really dealing with a lot of things um, within themselves that they are trying to, um, I'm hearing like place in its proper, like having everything in its proper place. That's what I'm hearing. And I think, you know, you kind of are aware, you know, of that. But also I think that you need to understand that everyone is not um, that this situation is not on your terms whatever this is it's crazy how a singles situation became like some old stuff that's crazy okay so yeah see this is why <laughs> this is the four of cups and the queen it's the four of cups the empress and the Queen of Cups. I thought I saw the King of Cups. I don't even know. Probably not because I've been getting a whole bunch of immature energy. Besides that King of Wands, which was your energy, not theirs. So yeah, <laughs> you, you're immature. Like, wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Nope. Major look. Okay, so um, the Four of Cups energy is definitely, you know, self-reflection. Thinking about everything that went wrong in a situation and I'm feeling like either you or them are now prepared to nurture the situation and bring in love to it right but you have to remember that all of this shit like all of this shit still has to before you can get to your queen of pentacles energy all of the, you still have to go through all of this so if that's the case it's quite it's quite possible that there you know some for some of you they're going to come back and you're going to think that they have um, done the work. 
in order to heal themselves, but they haven't. So be sure to keep that in mind when you are dealing with them. Because I feel like for some of you guys, that's definitely going to be the case. Like they wouldn't have completed everything that they need to do. But for others, I mean, for most of you, you know, they're not going to be able to come back into the hands of this. Because it's a divine partnership. And everything... Everything is happening um, in the way in which it should. So, see, it says, "Wait, don't rush in, into it. Allow nature to take its course." See, it says, "Acceptance is the key to inner peace." At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that of which is beyond our control. Yeah, see, I feel like, you know, for some of you, they, they're they they're going to try, they're going to try to come in or you're going to try to come in before you completely heal from a situation. And no, you need to just have faith. Like all of these sound cards, you need to have faith and heal yourself. See, balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. So, yeah, like, back here, like, you know, for some of you, they're just going to accept it, whatever you want, because they want you. But they're going to end up being, you know, resentful of that. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. So I feel like that right there is telling you that you need to follow your intuition in how you handle all of these situations. I feel like a lot of you are definitely aware of things and, you know, you need to be willing to um, trust, you know, trust it. Like the, the underlying message is transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Like, if you guys do not accept the past for what it was, your present for what it is, and the future for, you know, being able to become whatever. Because all of this is, you know, especially if it, um, the energy is, for most of you, in the future, and this is your message or your outcome for what's um, probable if you're staying on the current path I really think that you know it's always possible to change it this hasn't happened yet like definitely remember that you know you have the the knowledge and the ability to change how your outcome looks your past does not have to be your present it just doesn't um but I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. Thank you so much for watching, Aries. And if you're interested in a personal reading, feel free to message me or click the book now button and schedule an appointment. I'm so sorry, Aries. <laughs> Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your day.